Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently truced with nearly everyone over on this front that we have borders with. We are not truced with Wallachia but we'll fight them when we fight the Byzantines so that's not a big concern. Now we of course need to turn our focus to the European front which pretty much means we fight the following. Italy, Bavaria, Germany, and actually Palabia. We have borders with those four nations. So what are their actual strengths? This is probably a pretty doable thing. So I think we fight for Italy right now. What do we have for existing claims here? Not a lot. Okay, so we're going to go for Duchy Conquers. I would like to go for... I kind of feel like Verona here would be good. It would give us access to Romagna. That's definitely an interesting option. So if we do that right now, then that gives us off access to Romani Romania, which gives us also access to Urbino. So that gets us all the way down this way. That means that we can fight here, counter conquering the county of, or rather the duchy of Romania, and then the county of Urbino. Like that. We don't have to declare war on these guys all right now and in fact we may want to delay those for the moment so just fight these three wars right now for the moment and raise up here there we go because i mean we could win declaring all three of the others but i don't think there's really a point i really really don't so they have a fair number of reasonably high quality troops We've raised up 150k, though, and they don't want to touch that. And I don't blame them. They shouldn't want to touch that. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Okay, so we have a peasant revolt occurring. Is there anything else in here? No, just a peasant revolt? Okay, so where is that peasant revolt? Uh, that's not too bad. Okay, we're going to raise up forces somewhere around here. And they're immediately moving into us, which is kind of hilarious. When are our men-at-arms going to arrive here? Ten days? Sounds good. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. There we go. So we're going to group all of these forces together. We're going to split off our siege forces as per usual. And we're going to go stack wipe them over here. So we're going to attack, like, Treviso here. And do we have a decent siege commander other than ourselves? We don't want ourselves to be sieging it. There we go. That'll do. Down over this direction, we have 150,000. Okay, this is more than is necessary here. We're going to attack in Mecca, but it looks like they're then grouping in K-Bar. And we would be delighted to fight them in K-Bar. So that's absolutely fine. We do need a new marshal, and that will be this fine gentleman here. So that's okay. There we go. 365 gold. Okay, we definitely need 365 gold. No doubt about that. Okay, so we're going to head on in here and hopefully catch some of them. Looks like we're going to have to actually fight them here, but that's absolutely fine. Sure, we'll pay the Royal Court a visit. What do we have going on here? Murder holes? Sure, a series of spying holes would be absolutely fine. We could use spending money after all. So we're going to continue to head down over this way. This is obviously a victory for us. I don't think it's a stack wipe necessarily, though. Yeah, they're pretty high-quality troops, actually. So that's not super shocking. And let's just get these sieges done. We need three total additional sieges over here, and that should, in theory, end that war. If we were to attack here, what kind of attrition would we take? 5,000? I think we'll stay put for the time being. It seems relatively okay. Cool. So we'll head off over here. I want to check in on the status of this war, though. Oh, they did all group up there, and we're fighting them. Beautiful. So that war is going to be over presently. I like it. They're heading northward here. I like that a little less. We should definitely... Okay, this war is over, as expected. We enforce those demands. We should definitely consider heading up here to intercept. This siege is kind of pointless. Well, it, it's pointless for how long it would take, right? We should fight them here, is the point. 
So there we go. We'll do exactly that. And between that and these, this siege here, that is likely to end the war, I think. This is maybe a little bit dangerous here. We'll keep an eye on this. Yeah, they're heading northward. I don't like this situation. We're going to leave here. We're going to enforce our demands. And of course, these titles are going to need to be granted out. And we're going to do exactly that. We're going to need to make a duchy here. So we'll usurp that duchy. That goes over to this guy. Show only the recent title, the Emirate of Verona. Why is Medina showing up as a recent title? I don't know. Oh, it's because we have a mosque over there. Okay. That makes more sense. So in Medina, we have a mosque apparently somewhere. Yes, here. We don't want to hold that. Okay, we'll grant that on out. No problem. And then this can be moved into the Sultanate of Burgundy. That is absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever there. So we're running away from these guys, and we do need to make our way over. Okay, they're heading off over here and, like, embarking. That's wonderful. So we're going to head down and siege. We are, of course, still one direct vassal over our limit. That's unsurprising. Okay, so we're fighting them here. This is going to be nice and quick to get through these other wars, in theory. We are going to head southward here and take attrition. It's not ideal, but finishing the siege actually means that we don't take attrition, which is nice. I like it. Beautiful. I also see this is currently fully occupied. We'll see what ends up happening with that. But this war is over, so we're going to enforce those commands, and we are going to head on down over here. So we, of course, need to get a duchy title down this way. That would be this duchy, and we'll grant that over to this guy. Perfect. The Emirate of Romania and everything under can go with, and then we'll give that over to Burgundy. Cool. So, of course, this does create a small exclave out over here. The Byzantines control Venice. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Okay. Our goal is the same. This is actually part of Italy here now. Which is, you know, mildly awkward because we just finished beating them up. So, that's fine. So, that's under control. Let's... I shouldn't have grouped these together. Let's actually split them back apart. Let's go stack wipe Italy's army again. And we're going to head in over here. We wanted a siege commander who was not us. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're going to catch them up here. Perfect. Just no problem whatsoever. This, however, is a bit of a problem. We're going to have to hop down over here and bail out our siege force. Hopefully we get there in time. We do. Perfect. Get out of here, Italy. Nobody likes you. Perfect. Specifically, nobody likes you existing outside of Arabia. Because Arabia is everyone at this point. <laughs> so we're going to head on over and defeat this force. What are we at for... Okay, war's over. Never mind. War is over, and we're going to disband our ridiculous hordes of troops. Perfect. So Urbino can be granted out, and that can be moved into Burgundy. There we go. How are we doing on that Kingdom of Italy title? Okay. We're not going to be able to get it because he considers us hostile. That's very rude, to be clear. We're still truce with the Byzantines. Good to know. And as far as our border down here goes, we're now just trapped with the Italian border. So now we should attack Bavaria. That's simply a county. That's not all that interesting. A duchy right here could potentially be easily combined with a German duchy in this area. So we can go for Augsburg, and then we can go for Germany. We can do something along the lines of Swabia. This looks great. We'll get that taken care of. I don't love this situation. That will need to get handled. But right now, I do like the Swabia concept. As far as Palabia goes, we're going to be looking for this duchy here. And I'll declare that now. It'll take us some time to get there. Cool. So we're going to drop a rally point around here. We'll raise our men-at-arms. We'll raise levy troops. How many total troops are we going to need? It's not going to be all that much. I don't think any of these have over 100k with their allies. So that's all relatively fine. 
We do need a new steward, and that will be this guy. Perfect. Let's just go to 150 just to be safe. Cool. And then we'll head on in up into Ravensburg. Cool. We did just inherit this, which we don't want to hold ourselves. I mean, we do want to hold it, but we can't. We can't hold that ourselves, which is very, very sad. So let's get this triple war completed here. These being this close together should be relatively quick in theory. It's just a matter of getting our men-at-arms here, right? They'll be here in five days, so that's looking good. Okay, I'm watching these guys move around here. And we definitely... We don't want to split off the pikemen. We definitely do want to split off some units here. I'm going to have this be a larger army than usual. Somewhere around 50,000. And then these guys, they're going to head up over here and look to catch this force. Yeah, we're going to take attrition. Yeah, it's going to be a little painful. But we absolutely do want to catch that force. We also need a siege commander here, of course. There we go. Okay, we are going to catch some of them out over here. We definitely took some attrition, but it should be fine. You see, more forces. Are these Bolobian? No, these are Bohemian forces. Okay. Noted. So we find ourselves at 53% war score right now. We actually stack wiped the Bavarian force. Beautiful. So we're going to go fight the German one next. That'll be absolutely fine. And we'll just siege our way through the rest of Bavaria here. Specifically, what is this? Augsburg? Augsburg, yes. Okay, I'm noting these Hungarian forces down here. I don't think they're really meaningful. Who are they with? Okay, this guy. Yeah, this is fine then. No problem. So we're at 82 war score now. I want to head up and fight Germany up here if we can. Beautiful. This is all looking good. So we're at 91. We could come up here. That's probably the closest castle. Well, there's these two. Yeah, something like that. That should end the war in theory. We stack wipes the German forces. So we'll hop into, say... Actually, this castle right here is fine. Beautiful. So the German forces were stack wiped. And this war is now over, so these guys are irrelevant now. We can head over to Ulm and start our siege there. And we can, of course, grant this over to someone at random. We can usurp the Duchy of Augsburg title. That would go over to this guy. Beautiful. And then he would go into, honestly, Burgundy still. This still goes into Burgundy. Up here, this still goes into Burgundy, but pretty soon we're going to start giving this stuff to Lotharingia is the way that's going to work. Out of curiosity, this is part of West Francia? Oh, that's a little awkward. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. We're at 50% right now. Do they have ticking against us? Not yet, surprisingly. Okay, so let's just get these sieges done. Just making our way around here. They have a number of castles in these areas. No doubt about that. But we're all the way up to 66 already. I like it. We could certainly consider moving these guys northward instead of doing the slow siege and coming to fight Palabia up here. This is a terrible route to take. This is a less terrible route to take. We only have that one attrition tick. We'll take it. So that sounds good. The unfortunate thing here... Oh. Okay, I was going to say the unfortunate thing here is these guys are leaving and leaving these unexposed for this raising army that we know is very likely raising. But we just happen to be walking straight through it. Beautiful. So that's great. That's very, very convenient for us. That actually ended the war because we got his son and heir. So this is now done. We can enforce those demands. And then we can head on up over to... Well, we don't really want to be split up exactly. Not without knowing exactly where their entire force is. They're still lacking about 50k from this force. So we don't know where that is. And that is definitely enough to threaten this. 
So we need to move these vassals into Bohemia. Or not Bohemia, into Burgundy. What am I talking about? There we go. We'll get them moved on in. We should be one vassal above, but we are three direct vassals above. Okay, so that might... I, I don't think I made any mistakes over this way. That might just be titles splitting apart. I'm guessing that's what it is. We could certainly revoke this guy's title. It's an act of tyranny, but we can do that. And we can merge him into Abyssinia. Not the Empire. The Sultanate. There we go. Beautiful. So that'll bring us down to two. Wonderful. And then what else do we have going on over here? Anybody else that we can merge together? The answer is a hard maybe. Hmm. Not seeing any major options right now. We might have to provoke a, a vassal rebellion at some point. But yeah, this is almost certainly things breaking apart. Yeah, I, I... Well, no, this was broken apart previously. Regardless, two direct vassals above isn't a huge concern. So we'll let that be for the moment. Now I want to make our way up over here and eliminate this force. Palabia has to know we're on the way at this point. We want to go hit Oldenburg. There's their primary force. We're definitely closing in on them here. Wonderful. So we're going to attack them straight up over here. The game thought we were going to lose that for a moment, but no, we're, we're not going to lose this. This is absolutely not happening. So we're going to siege up over here. We win this battle, and that nets us seven war score. That was not a lot of war score. I'm going to be honest. The good news is, these are low-level castles. We're going to siege them quickly, even with our slow siege. So that's great, and that's the majority of their forces kicked out of here. That does, of course, mean that we can do some double sieging here, which we're relatively content to do. That said, if we push too far ahead with our siege force from this force, we're in danger. We don't want to push further than this right now. So I'm going to swap these forces for the moment. Freeing up our main force and then also our siege force. Because that was very quick. There we go. Now I see these guys over here. We don't know where their main force is. That's the danger here. If we get pulled too far away by this tiny little force, problems can ensue. This is a little bit greedy here. We'll see how it goes. If they let us get away with this. And it looks like they are, shockingly. Uh, I don't want to go to that grand wedding. Okay, so we now see their main fighting force. Beautiful. Demand artifact, get out of here. Okay. So we see their main fighting force out over here now, and we're about to get full control over the war goal here. That's wonderful. We should easily win this battle. And we're just going to head on down and continue to siege. That's the whole war goal under our control. This may end the war. And indeed it does. So we're going to enforce those demands and disband our troops. We, of course, need to hand out these titles. We don't want to hold them ourselves. And we need to grab the duchy title here for Angria. We'll usurp that. And that should go over to this guy. Phenomenal. And then we have a choice to make. Do we awkwardly give this to West Francia because they have a connection? Or do we awkwardly give it to Lotharingia because they will have a connection? I think we're going to give it to Lotharingia. Oh, I wanted to grant vassal, not grant title. There we go. I think we give it to Lotharingia. That will make sense later. Right now, it doesn't really. But it will eventually make sense. So we can grab Overseer here. That's fine. And now we have a question to ask. And that is, what now? Obviously, we're still truced here. Are we still truced to the Byzantines? Actually, we're not. So while these truces are ticking away, we can fight the Byzantines. I love it. 
So we're going to do exactly that, and we are going to do... What are these claims? A single county. A single county, and... This guy has a claim on a duchy up over here. It's kind of an awkward one. I think we're not going to go for that. We are instead going to go for... Actually, this is the exact duchy that I was looking for. I don't like the fact that there's this county here, but we'll just have to have a little bit of border core here for the moment, I think. That's going to have to be how this goes. So we declare this. And then we can declare on Wallachia, which gives us borders potentially. This is a kingdom tier realm. What's the duchy actually look like? Okay. So this is all Galicia, Volhynia here. So this does not give us borders with Hungary or with Moldavia here. Okay. So that does not actually give us any additional borders over which to attack. So we're going to have to raise here and go up this way because of the awkward river crossing situation here. That's fine. We're going to raise our men at arms. We're going to raise our levy troops. This guy is claiming the Empire of Britannia. He, good luck with that, bud. <laughs> He's not getting it. I can tell you that right now. Okay, what do we have for power levels here? 77 and 72. Seems fine. We'll prepare to fight both of them at once. So we'll go for 140. Okay, I guess 180 works. In we go. And we know that there's Byzantines down over here. Sure, show in the salt. Wonderful. Okay, and we know that there's Byzantines up here as well. They're going like this direction? Sure. For the time being, I'm going to let them group up and figure out where they're going to go. We don't want to split up too much. Both sides of this war could theoretically stack wipe our composition for our siege. That said, if their primary force is right here, I want to deal with it. Once again, we're going to raise this up. I'm going to have this be 70,000 in our siege force this time. Just in hopes that they can't just straight up stack wipe it. And then we're going to come on over and look to fight the Byzantines. As conveniently as possible. We do need a siege commander here. And we'll put in this guy. Magnificent. And we're stack wiping the Byzantine army. Yeah, that was just stack wiped. Okay, so the Byzantine War is going to be over very shortly here. That's a great sign. We're very happy about that. We're less happy about the status of this. Although, the, uh, the dotted line is around this, not around this. Okay, never mind. For a second there, I was like, are we also going to get this? But no, it's not proceeding down this way. It is only here. So yeah, we're going to get this. There's going to be a border gore there. I, I don't like it, but... Not too much we can do about that right now. I think we can safely head northward here. Somebody trying to claim our throne. Hilarious. I wish them luck with that one. So we're looking to find the Wallachian army, right? That is our current goal with heading northward. And I'm not sure where that Wallachian army will be, but we may actually want... Oh, hello. Like right here. That's pretty neat. We can head in there and continue to siege our way out this way. We're at 87 Byzantine war score right now. The Wallachian army is running away from us, and they're doing so quite effectively. But we do catch some of them here, which might force them into an engagement. They chose not to engage. That was a smart decision there. They sacrificed that force. And they're sacrificing this force as well. Again, that is a smart choice. That's what they need to do. We see a Byzantine army down over here. Okay. The Byzantine war is now over. So we can enforce those demands and we can head up this crossing. That is absolutely perfect. We're going to grab this duchy title. And that de jure goes here. So we're going to grant this out to someone else. And we'll grant that on over with everything underneath it. There we go. And this, I guess, moves into this sultanate. Which we can actually revoke, but for now I'm not interested in doing that. Well, maybe that that's a really awkward kingdom. Okay. <laughs> no doubt about that one. He has double kingdoms, though. So I don't think that we're going to do that right now. Yeah, I don't think that's a great option. 
So he's piling in and attacking us here. This is a very bad choice. He should not do this. He should have continued to run away and just threaten our siege force. That would have been his best way forward. But instead, we're just going to run amok. And there's nothing he can do about it. Cool. This county is going to haunt us. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so inward we go here. Their capital is under siege right now. I think that the capital is more valuable for us to siege than the war goal, actually. We're at 75% at this moment. That could theoretically end the war. In fact, it has a really good chance of ending the war. This is not going to be the full county occupation. But it was enough. Phenomenal. So enforce those demands and disband our troops. And this duchy, of course... What is going on here? Oh, this is held by us. Okay. We're going to have to grant this out. Actually, we can grant that directly into this guy. There we go. And then that can get moved in here so that this kingdom can be even more awkward. Perfect. No problem whatsoever there. Are we still truced in the west? Our truces are actually, well, Vladimir we're not truced in due to succession. But our other truces here are still here. Okay. We might have to chill a little bit here pretty soon. We're running out of places to attack unless we wanted to attack like Norway, Estonia. Going in via sea for some of these locations, which we may end up doing. But we're making rapid progress. No doubt about that. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see if we want to chill or not. That might be a thing that we need to do. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.